Imagine looking up at the sky and realizing the moon is getting bigger. Not just a little bigger, a lot bigger, faster, closer, until suddenly it crashes into Earth. Let's start with the moon's approach. If for some reason maybe a rogue gravitational force or a cosmic anomaly, the moon began spiraling toward Earth. We'd notice strange things long before impact. Tides would rise to insane levels. Coastal cities would flood. Daily earthquakes would ripple across the globe as gravitational forces begin to warp the crust. The moon's gravitational pull keeps our oceans dancing and Earth's tilt steady. But now it's doing the tango too close to home and Earth is already trembling. But if this is just the beginning, what happens when it gets even closer? As the moon closes the distance, its sheer mass begins distorting Earth's shape. Yes, Earth, the whole planet would start bulging, stretching and groaning under the pressure. Expect volcanoes to erupt in places that never had them. Hurricanes supercharged by tidal disruptions. So what happens when it finally makes contact? The impact would be unlike anything Earth has ever experienced. The moon, roughly 181st, the mass of Earth slams into the planet at over 22,000 miles per hour. The energy released would equal more than a trillion nuclear bombs going off at once. Oceans vaporize, continents crack, a firestorm ignites across the globe. The shockwave alone would flatten everything for thousands of miles. And the moon? Obliterated Earth? Not far behind. But is any life capable of surviving such a cataclysm? It's unlikely, but not impossible. Deep sea extremophiles hidden miles beneath the ocean floor or in deep earth. Caves might ride out the chaos. Microbial life has survived asteroid impacts before. And it might again. So maybe life would find a way. But let's not test that theory. Shall we? The moon is more than just a beautiful nightlight. It's a guardian of stability. Without it, Earth wouldn't be the planet we know today. So next time you look up at the sky, be thankful it's keeping its distance. Stay curious, stay grounded, and don't forget to subscribe.